I want to talk about love and the body of Messiah. I believe, as I laid out in my last video about how I believe the camp of Israel was laid out as a body, how it had three divisions, just like our our arms do, that we have three joints in our arms and in our legs, and just the proportions, you had two sides that were about the same size, like our, our arms would be, a shorter side that would be like our head would be, like the head would be, and a longer side that would resemble legs or the and the rest of the body that is longer than the other parts. And with the tabernacle at the middle, just like we have our, our heart is in kind of in the middle of our body, and it takes the blood to all of the rest of the body. It takes it out to our fingers, our hands. Um, and all that, and we need, we work, need to work as a body. Realize that, hey, some people have gifts of doing this or that. And, and just respect that and realize that, hey, we don't necessarily have to be doing the same thing. We work as a body. Not a, the eyes don't have the same function as the hands or the, or the feet or any of the, and the hands don't have the same function as the feet or the, the eyes or the nose or anything. And we need to learn to work as a body, work together, and to be a light in that in that as as the Israel was to be a light to the nation so should we be a light in, as part of the renewed covenant in Messiah we shouldn't worry so much about we shouldn't argue about whether the month begins at conjunction or versus sighting or you know whether things were aviv if you think that this last year if you think they were Aviv in March, keep that. If you think they were Aviv in, that, that Aviv, Aviv didn't start until April and keep Passover in April, so be it. Uh, but don't sit there and argue about it. It's not worth it. Or, or whether one name or over the other. What what the proper pronunciation of, of Yahweh's name is. Some people say Yahuwah, some people say different things. But if we can unite as a body and love one another in brotherly love as we're supposed to, brotherly love, sisterly love, you know, call one another, care about, ask if they need prayer. And we need to work to be a body to per, to reach out to the poor. That's part of the reason the body should come together is reaching out to the poor, the widow and the orphan. That's undefiled religion as scripture talks about. Caring for one another. That he will know we are his, that the world will know we are Yeshua's disciples by our love for one another. And like they were like in Corinthians they were suing each other. And it says, Why not be wronged? Love is patient, love is kind, it does not uh, count a wrong suffered. And we're gonna we're gonna hurt one another unfortunately at times. But if we can get past that and seek to love one another and not fly off the handle at every little thing that goes on or every different difference of doctrine and show love compassion caring for others that's how we become a light of the world that's how we have a we receive an anointing that sets the world on fire keeping the sabbath the holy days the queen meets and loving one another, loving others, 
feeding the poor, clothing the poor, bring, taking them in. And, you know, but part of being in his, in Yeshua's name, is obeying Torah because he was the living Torah. Abide in me. Abide in the living Torah. He was the living Torah. He was Messiah. He was the living Torah. And we abide in him. And become a body and are held together. We are held together by Torah. By following Torah. It, Torah was about love and an agricultural society. So let's look at those principles and apply them to the rest of the world, the, the rest of the body. You know, I find it I find it very beautiful and loving that women would wear would wear head covering as as part of obedience to Yahweh, not to me. Um and we shouldn't argue about head covering. If if people like to wear it, wonderful. Beautiful, awesome, great. If people don't, well, you know, we hopefully we come to that. If about guys having beards, you know. I prefer I would hope that men would have beards. It was it's part of the idea. It says not to harm the edges of your beard. Well if you're cutting it, you're harming the edges. Well, it all off or making a goatee or whatever but arguing about that stuff isn't gonna wait isn't useful and zitzi uh, but like modesty beautiful and like Paul talked about he was talking about meat sacrificed to idols creating a stumbling block for someone else you know if and he said, if if it causes my brother to stumble, I will never eat meat again. He wasn't, he was talking about meat, meat sacrificed to idols. And, you know, we need to learn that there are things we can do that can show love. And people will say, oh, well, it's not a salvation issue, or it's, uh, you know, modesty... Those are things, help, modesty is one of those things, especially with when, the way women dress, it helps the, us men to not lust after them. And if we embrace modesty as men, that's important. And also, modesty in our perception of who we are, that we not think more of each other, more of ourselves than we ought to. Realize that this is a uniting book. That the the sort the armor of God, the ar armor of Elohim, came out of Isaiah, Isaiah 57, Isaiah 59, Isaiah 12. Paul didn't just come up with it out of thin air and realize that this is a unified book as we should be a unified people that the Jews accept the Torah and the Gentiles accept the New Testament so-called New Testament the Brit Hadashah but we shouldn't be proud of we should be grafted in we should be grafted together as a people that's what we need. We and in that we become a light. As our love for one another, we become a light. That's how you have an anointing that will set the world on fire. If we could, in our obedience, we read, pray, and obey. We work in our own lives, but as we become more obedient, we shine brighter and care about one another. You know that was the whole point of Torah: was caring about one another. Don't let someone's animal get hurt, whether it be falling in a, a hole or or a, falling in a ditch or being under a burden and all those sorts of things. 
That's love. That there are rules that we should live by. And we'll have much better, we'll be much better if we will live by them. And love one another and care for the poor. If we can love one another, we can be more effective as a body to show the world what love is. God is love. Well, we need to love one another and love others. And I just pray that, that we would have love in the body. And stop fighting over these some of these stupid things. Yes, there are things that we have to divide over. There's other things that don't make a hill of beans worth a difference. Like whether you would have a kitchen or citing, citing versus conjunction. It's not worth fighting over. It's not worth dividing over. Sure, there are things, there are false doctrines that are worth dividing over. Or people want to create their own groups and all that stuff. But we must love. We must love within the body and be together. Shalom, shalom, and may Yahweh bless and keep you. Shine upon you. Give you his peace. Give you peace.